Do you know that Claremont, Florida has such a rich history? This video will be everything you need to know about Claremont. Hi there, I'm a realtor and mom in Orlando, Florida, and I post new videos every Wednesday about real estate and lifestyle in the Orlando area. Claremont has so much history in such a small area. You will see many historic downtown Claremont treasures. And at the end of this video, I will reveal how Claremont got its name. You won't want to miss this. So let's get right into it. Claremont was founded in 1884 and incorporated in 1916. These old photos show various aerial photos of Claremont, the post office on Montrose Street in 1904, the first car in Claremont, another shot of Montrose Street, street scene of Reliance Garage in 1920s, a family enjoying the lake, Claremont, Florida High School in 1940s, a lakefront view in Claremont, and Montrose Street in the 1970s, picking oranges near Citrus Tower. Claremont is located 30 minutes west of downtown Orlando. Claremont's historic village is located right at the corner where West Avenue and West Osceola Street merge into each other. It is nice and quiet and very serene. It is located off Lake Mineola at Waterfront Park, and it is a small part of the downtown Claremont area. In June 2019, the South Lake County Historical Society decided to change its name to the Claremont Historical Society. The Historic Village is a collaboration between the Claremont Historical Society and the city of Claremont. Take a look at this scenery. The Kuwansat Hut World War II Museum. Kuwansat huts were used by the military as living and working quarters in World War II. Ships were being sunk in off the Florida coast by German submarines, so U.S. military were stationed in this area. Inside the museum, it really shows us so many artifacts from that era and all the items that were donated by military veterans. It truly is a place of honor, a place of stories, and a place of sacrifice and love for one's country. God bless the United States of America. Cooper Memorial Library. Now there's the modern Cooper Memorial Library that we use today, then there's the real one. The original was built near City Hall in downtown Claremont in 1914. In 2009, the building was moved where it is today, the historic village. Inside the library, there are many artifacts. As we go inside, you'll find old newspapers, camera and videography equipment, old books of Claremont history, and even Edgar Allan Poe books. Items such as a library card catalog, tons of tourist marketing materials from the citrus boom, and old radios. The Kern House. The Kern House was built around 1885 from Alexander and Eleanor Kern. It was moved in 2006 to the historic village. Alexander was one of the 31 pioneers that put his signature on the original legal notice for the town of Claremont on June 8, 1891. He was also responsible for the first public water system in Claremont and was the owner of the Wilson General Merchandise Store. Many of the items were donated by area locals that are in this home, and they are not originally from the Kearns. However, they are of the era and they do a great job so showcasing what it was like to live in that era. Let's go look at the Townsend House. 
The Townsend House was owned by James and Sally Townsend, which were the first African-American residents to settle in Claremont in 1895. The home was moved here in 2002. The Townsend started the first school for African-American children in Claremont. Sally was a midwife who saved that estimated that she delivered well over a thousand babies. The Townsend family was a big part of Claremont in the early days. I found it interesting that hemp was used quite a lot, including rope for this bed. It was to my surprise to find an outhouse, Claremont's very own outhouse. This interesting fact is coming up guys, Herring Hook's schoolhouse. It is a replica of the original schoolhouse. It was added to Historic Village in 2013. The Hooks family had a crucial role as being a part of the early pioneers in Claremont. Harry Hooks officialized the sale of 1,000 acres to a group of men from New Jersey who made one of the earliest colonies and projects made in the history of Florida. According to Lake County's biography site, they incorporated as the Claremont Improvement Company under the laws of New Jersey and began their activities that same year, with A.F. Rotnowski, general manager and treasurer, selecting the name Claremont for their town site from Rotnowski's birthplace in France. So there we have it, the fact that Claremont is named after Claremont Fonlon in France. That is a very interesting fact. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of Claremont's history and that you gain valuable insight into how rich and amazing Claremont's history is. Consider subscribing and hit the bell as well because you won't want to miss all these amazing real estate videos I have lined up for you guys.